A DME stands for data medium exchange. So for what purpose the date the DME is to be required and also what are the formats? What are the formats? What are the DME formats are available? What are the DME formats are available? Then what would be the business requirement? I mean, what is the bank? How to prepare? First of all, sir, so the DME, before going to generate the DME file, we need to understand the bank specific requirement. Bank, bank specific requirement. Then, then based on the bank requirement once we understand the bank specific requirement then we need to build the we need to start build the build the dme so now now i have developed a dme file i mean maybe header okay based on my requirement but i'll i will explain one by one sir the formats and bank specification how it will be looks like I'm just explaining process here, sir. So let's say now I have built one DME. I mean, I have generated the, I have successfully developed one DME uh, tree. Then how I will come to know whether, whether the DME, the format which is correct or not, and also how I should know whether bank will accept that file format or not. So what we need to do, we need to validate the file. We need to validate the file with bank. OK, so how to validate and I will explain you. But now after creation of DME, after creation of let's say I have built the even after the bank has been accepted the file then how to how to map the file how to map the file to the bank to the bank or company code company company code because to to place to place in al11 application path application because what will happen in real time the file should be placed in AR11 directory. From there, the middleware system will pick up the file and it will send to the bank. We will see, sir. All these steps we'll see one by one. But this maybe so I for, cannot for, show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. So first thing, what purpose? Huh? That is also we mentioned, sir. What yes, sir. Yes. We require. Okay. okay, I link to it, sir. I link to it, sir. Yeah. Or uh, we need to know are there any options? Are there any alternatives? to dme yeah sure sir sure sir what but purpose and alternatives to yeah. dme yes yes what purpose of dme then and alternatives alternatives to dme yeah. yes 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 sir. yes sir. DME. alternatives to dme then so okay sir let us discuss one by one so what is the purpose of the DME? Then what are the DME formats are available? Now, first we'll discuss one by one. Yeah. How to map or modify a build, build it? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This, this I'm going to. So the how to map the country level, then uh, we need to start build in the build itself how to modify and all i will explain here sir i will cover this here sir yeah, uh, let me let me put it sir how to start build and edit and, uh, edit, edit sir mm. edit and uh, and activate sir activation is important sir activation and, and execution also Acti yes sir yes sir activation and execution <laughs> execution of execution the DM. Yes, sir. activation also important. Without the activation system won't uh, uh, allow. OK, then first of all, system won't consider that one. It will not appear in, our, in the list. Fine. So 
So the DMV first, if we talk about the DMV, what standard SAP, what is the purpose of the DMV? Let us discuss one by one. What is the purpose of the data medium exchange? So, so the data medium exchange, each country, so the purpose of the DME, each country, each country has a, each country has a specific, specific requirement, requirement to validate, to validate the creditors information or debtors information, debtors information as per the as per the ISO guidelines as per the ISO guidelines each country has their own requirement and also each bank also will have a specific requirement first we need to we need to see that one i mean the country has a specific requirement at the same time, the each bank also will have a separate requirement. So the major, the main thing is that here, the data medium exchange, the moment when we send the information to the bank, so the data will be the, I mean, the, uh, whenever we send the data in the form of DME, there has been provided. So the DME, so, so there are DME formats, sir. So the DME formats are, let's say CTX format is there. Let's say uh, now I have the, um, I mean, uh, I have the CCD format, it is there. So how can I decide that one, which format? So so what we are going to say, all these configurations, it's a NAC formats, N-A-C-H. So the DMV configuration, before going to do the configuration, at what so, format yeah, the yeah, file yes. to be generated? That is a very important one, sir. So now the NAC format, if I'm going to talk about DME, DME. Sir, C CCD you said, huh? CCD one more thing you said, sir. Yes, I, I, yes, sir. I'm going to describe. I'm going to write here, sir. DME. Okay. So let's say the DME. DME format option, sir. Sir. Okay. DME format options. So I mean, let's say so DME format options. It's a DME formats would be format options should be should be generated generated based on based on n a c h a nac okay what is this n a c h a national automated clearing house sir a n stands for national national automated A national automated clearing clearing house clearing house association so the formats the formats dmv formats to be defined based on the natch format so national automated clearing house so what national automated clearing house it's a based on the based on the iso standard okay so the natch format created i mean if i want to create any payment files then i have to follow this format so again the formats will be the formats will be ctx format it is there ccd format it is there TBR format, it is there. And PPD format, it is there. PYS, it is there. And POP, it is there. Again, so PRB, it is there. Sorry, PBR, it is there. 
again iat so apart from this even i have a some other formats also but etc it's a depends on my requirement so we are going to even most of the cases will be used for the ctx format or ccd format but even those there might be a require there might be a different uh, uh, thoughts then but most of the cases the ctx format will be used by the ctx what is mean by ctx format because each format has a different structure yes sir so here let us talk about the format ctx format sir what is the ctx ctx stands for corporate corporate trade corporate trade exchange is a natch format so 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 this will this will what will happen the length of the fields okay so the length of the fields the file format based on the nac format only based on the nac format only which i have to define here so so the ctx format which we are going to use so most are the cases where the transfers which are happening within country or even even outside of the country i mean most of the cases it will be outside of the country i mean wherever we want then so the records whatever we are going to uh, i mean whatever the format which we are going to define the length of each and every node has a separate length in the ctx format so the length how, how the length will be looks like sir, then again that will be given by the bank that will see that one sir so now how the how the uh, it will be then now ctx format because this is the one of the famous format but how can i differentiate the dma so i uh, sir even ccd also it's also one of the same format it's a part of nac only okay all these formats it have the it has the independent some there might be some small difference will be there sir there might be some small uh, some uh, difference will be there but we'll discuss about ctx if you want then i will explain ccd cbr also but one or two will discuss sir okay sir now okay, sir. how can i differentiate because there is a dmv tree if you see sir here this is the format i have defined but how yes. this format will be will be relevant for what kind of nac formats either it's a ctx ccd cr cbr how system should know if if this dmv file this dmv format is relevant for which form dmv tree is relevant for which format then at the time of definition at the time of creation itself we have to decide that one we have to give instruction to the system then what is is the format what is the format which we are going to use the country level there is a country level setup which is required so how i can define this one so the nac format and let me show you sir so now so this uh, bank has to provide sir this information okay my i am uh, whether, whether uh, first thing uh, we are for, we are sending the bank file in the dme and another one is that uh, this is the file format uh, maybe ccd or something that CC, we need to get CC, a confirmation yes. exactly sir exactly exactly so most are the cases it will be ctx format only sir so okay. the first thing is that yes sir you are true because we need to get confirmation from the bank so now let sir one more question sir go. this file format yes, please, sir. maybe seven hours 
maybe seven or eight there in this CTX, CCT. So all should follow NACA format, NACA, NACA, NACA. Exactly. NACA is. Yeah, exactly. So according to the guidelines, uh, in yes, according sir. to NACA guidelines, these formats will be there. Exactly. Yes, sir. So, so bank has to choose which format we need to send the file. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Bank has to choose okay. then which format mm -hmm. we need to send. They will accept the file. Yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They will act. They have to accept, sir. They have to accept. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay.